Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Pulfet. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa held a telephone conversation with the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abd Aziz Al Saud. The two leaders exchanged Eid al Fitr greetings and good wishes, wishing the two brotherly countries and their people, as well as the Arab and Islamic nations, many happy returns of the blessed occasion. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa held a telephone conversation with the Egyptian President Abdel Fattah al Sisi. The two leaders exchanged Eid al Fitr greetings and good wishes, wishing the two brotherly countries and their people, as well as the Arab and Islamic nations, many happy returns of the blessed occasion. The Speaker of the Representatives Council, Fawzia bint Abdullah Zainal, expressed pride in the pivotal role played by the workers of the Kingdom of Bahrain and their contributions to enriching national achievements and their influential contributions in advancing and accelerating the wheel of the national economy in light of the comprehensive development process of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. She appreciated the creativity, distinction and efficiency of the Bahraini worker in various work and production sites which qualifies them to be the first choice always in employment and the labor market. Zainal stressed the importance of concerted efforts and continuous cooperation between the production parties to preserve jobs and their stability in order to achieving more gains and achievements for the Kingdom of Bahrain and its workers and to enhance the nation's position in various labor forms. The Speaker of the Representatives Council also noted the Representatives Council's keenness to support and enhance everything that would achieve progress aimed at employing Bahrainis and giving them priority in addition to diligent work by activating the legislative role through the proposals presented such as developing the support provided to job seekers and raising the level of qualification programs and development as well as seeking to support ambitious initiatives that fall within the framework of supporting Bahrainization and empowering citizens with jobs that are commensurate with their qualifications and experience. Chairman of the Shura Council, Ali bin Saleh al-Saleh, extended his sincere congratulations and best blessings to His Majesty the King on the occasion of International Workers' Day. Al-Saleh also underlined the care and attention that workers in the public and private sectors enjoy from His Majesty the King, expressing great pride for their outstanding contributions, dedication and sincerity for the Kingdom. The Chairman of the Shura Council valued the initiatives and plans provided by the government, headed by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. To to enhance partnership and responsibility aimed at achieving the sustainable development goals of the Kingdom of Bahrain. He also appreciated the efforts of the government to provide all means of support to workers and to emphasize the protection and preservation of rights of all employees and workers in the public and private sectors, praising and appreciating the distinguished role of the government in supporting the Bahrain team and supplying the labor market and the national economy with carers and labor competencies that that contribute to the progress of the Kingdom of Bahrain. Bahrain joins the international community in observing the International Workers' Day marked worldwide on May the 1st being an opportunity to highlight workers' achievements and contributions to the nation building and development as well as to affirm their pivotal role in the three production parties. The Kingdom of Bahrain has been interested in developing all legislations that contribute to the advancement of the Bahraini labor market by paying attention to workers and making legal guarantees, guarantees a basis for the practice relationship between the worker and the employer. In return for the efforts made by the government of the Kingdom of Bahrain by adopting strategies and plans that enhance the labor market environment, the Bahraini labor market has become safe and secure the life of the workers. The Labor Market Regularity Authority is considered a legal personality that enjoys administrative and financial independence under the supervision of the Minister of Labor and Social Development. In addition, it enjoys the same privileges as the other ministries governmental organizations and public bodies in the Kingdom of Bahrain. The authority is to regulate the labor market and also concerned with developing a comprehensive national plan for the labor market that includes the general strategy and policy regarding local and expatriate employment in addition to collecting and analyzing data, statistics and information related to the economic situation in the Kingdom. The authority works within an integrated governmental group to provide quick services to employers and expatriate employees. 
It introduced the one transaction system for issuing work permits to where it seeks through its services to establish solid bases for the labor market that preserve the rights of expatriates, employers and expatriate employees alike. Also, many Bahrainis were employed in the private sector and job seekers trained during the past period. Marking the occasion the under and under the patronage of His Majesty the King and in the presence of the Minister of Labour and Social Development, Jamil bin Mohammed Ali Hamidan, the General Federation of Bahrain Trade Unions held its annual celebration to celebrate the International Labour Day, during which 242 workers from various companies in Bahrain were honoured. The Minister of Labour and Social Development conveyed good wishes from His Majesty the King to the loyal workers of Bahrain and their representatives in the trade unions. He also conveyed the greetings of of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister and his continuous pride in achieving comprehensive developments in the Kingdom. Maidan pointed out that the celebration comes with the transformation witnessed by the labour market and the launch of the recovery plan that outlined the features of advancement to achieve comprehensive development through five strategies targeting vital sectors to achieve comprehensive economic development which will have a positive impact on the labour market and push it towards more growth, cohesion and stability and creating quality job opportunities for citizens. Hamedan said during the ceremony that 7,740 Bahrainis were employed in the private sector in the first quarter of this year, as training about 3,722 job seekers, an increase of 36% over the same period last year. On the sidelines of the political forum at the United Nations, Minister of Housing, Basim bin Yagub al Hamar, stressed the importance of exchanging experiences and joint cooperation with Bradley countries by reviewing the successful housing programs and projects adopted by the government of the Kingdom of Bahrain. During his meeting with the Armani Minister of Housing and Urban Planning, Khalfan bin Saeed al Shaili, al Hamar indicated that Bahrain has achieved remarkable distinction in the volume of government programs, initiatives, and investments in the social housing sector since the establishment of the Ministry of Housing until today as a result of the increase in partnership initiatives with the private sector with new ideas and expanded partnerships. The Ministry of Housing emphasized the level of the close historical Bradley relations that bind the two Bradley countries in various fields. For his part, the Armani Minister of Housing and Urban Planning praised the bilateral efforts made to enhance joint cooperation between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the Sultanate of Oman. The General Directorate of Traffic announced that there will be high traffic presence during Eid al-Fitr holidays through monitoring main roads and junctions near commercial malls and roads of heavy traffic. The General Directorate of Traffic called upon road users to follow traffic rules, including the speed limits, especially in residential areas, and not to cross the red signals.